over there, Joe Launch Box. And today we have landed right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. On all of our journeys, there is a common thing we try to find, and it's the local tiki bar. Now, I might not be a big drinker. I'm a fan of have some mocktails, but you know what makes a tiki bar even better? What? Well, they have a weekend brunch. Oh, yeah. And we are at one of the most famous tiki bars here in Las Vegas, the Golden Tiki, for brunch and to bring to you what's so cool about the Golden Tiki. Never been here, excited. Excited to bring you along. It's gonna be good. If you like tikis, if you like fun drinks, you should like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below, ring the bell, all that good stuff's always appreciated, much love. But it's time to do it. The Golden Tiki. Step right up, let's go for this ride. It's already welcoming me. Welcome explorers, the Golden Tiki, 24 hours exotic food, cocktails, and gaming. I love that South Pacific Polynesian theming when we go to tiki bars. Look at these shields carved out front. Oh, I want to explore the falls. See the, the clam shells. Already with the theming, the effects of moving water, a skeleton head with the fountain, thatched lanterns. Already amazing theming. Some amazing sounding foods. As we look at the menu, the little red dots signify how strong the drink is. Five is their strongest drinks they have. Look at the theming. Little hula girls at the top. TVs, I love the stained glass. All the different colored lanterns, kind of lanterns. We have flaming drinks happening at the bar. There's an unwritten rule for lunchbox. If spam musubis on the menu, I need to try it. At our table, we have a painting of Mermaid Lisa. It says she was the owner's wife. But next to that, we have this PG Mermaid, and it says Mermaid Lisa's baby. You can't see me because it's dark, but the 86th, my spam musubi, the sad tears. Some of the direct decorations here are a little Disney themed. As you can see, like the hula girls from It's a Small World. And the other stained glass, we have some people worshipping the volcano. And then this one, we have the Kraken that's attacking the ship. Be careful, ship! Looking at the alcohol behind the bar, we also see some shrunken heads. Now, shrunken heads, that's a theme in this tiki bar. Even Chris Jericho got a shrunken head here. I love me some wrestling. That's pretty awesome. Joy got herself some piranha punch. I got gummies. And it has is that a gummy shark? I got myself a non-alcoholic painkiller. I love the pineapple leaf, I guess you call it, the top of a pineapple as garnish. Any good day starts with a nice umbrella drink. Yeah. Joy stealing a sip of my non-alcoholic painkiller. These drinks are delicious. She can see it's definitely something I would like, and that's why I got it. Joy, this could be a prom. This is so good, I could drink like five of them. You might have to drive back to the hotel. That was okay. Joy got this awesome waffle with chicken, and the waffle itself is made of green onion. That looks so good. And this is what I am dealing with, the aisle. Spam, pineapple, cow roast rice, cheese, cabbage, green onions, eggs, and homemade salsa. I really like it. The cheese is like melting on top of the waffle itself. And the chicken is breaded really good. Writing is so good. It almost tastes like movie popcorn meets chicken. I don't know. Off tiki drinks and appetizers menu. Oh, it's like a bird from the tropical hideaway in Disneyland. I've been flirting with the server's flower earpiece for the last 15 minutes. These birds have a lot different language uh, vocabulary than the ones in Disney. We had to take a minute to check out everything there is to see in here. Look how awesome this entrance is to the door. Hubba, 
Java. We have another mermaid here. We're gonna edit out part of this mermaid. She's not that modest. And she seems to have been wild. She's pregnant with a sailor's baby. When I mentioned they have strung in heads, a lot of people you can see like, I see a slash right over there. It is cool they take different celebrities, PP and Tiki culture, and make different heads on them. And the heads are what I came to say. Strong and head Elvis Presley? It's the head of Chris Jericho. He just made the golden tiki list. Even the strong and head from Beetlejuice made the collection of strong and heads. I wasn't expecting this. Joy loves never ending story. We actually have a Falcor strung in head next to David Bowie from Labyrinth. Some of the labeled like Nicolas Cage, Hunter S. Thompson. John Waters, of course, in the same case as Divine. Joy found me some Ernest Hemingway strung in head. Even good old Walt Disney made got a strung in head here. He's hanging out with Hemingway. I like paying tribute to Tiki culture. We have a Trader Vicks. And then Billy the Crude, original builder of the Golden Tiki. But next to Stringer Heads in the back, they do have their Museum of Strange with little cases of oddities. They're one of the oddities here in the Museum of Oddities. And an alligator head fish. It actually has an alligator head. We see a dealer with shrunken heads and a witch's wart. Never trust a witch without a wart. That's the saying, right? Only trust warded witches. Some funny oddities also we've seen on the wall, like slightly bigger than the white unicorn horn, the black unicorn horn. Every good tiki bar needs good water features. And this one with the giant clamshells, giant, giant clamshells trickling down is an amazing water feature. So many things to look at everywhere from display cases, the heads on poles, old fishing traps. The ceiling even has fireworks. Shooting stars fireworks. These shrunken heads are so cool. They're hidden everywhere throughout. I was loving how this table's all vintage postcards. I love it. They even have world's strongest bird. You see it escape? Buy, sell, hawk, trade. We're figuring out what tiki mug to get. And every tiki bar needs a good tiki. It's a staple of every tiki bar. The lantern traps, so much good decor in here. The decor on the outside of the spot is so cool as well. We just made a way out. Look at the arrows in the ceiling. In this case, we have Behold the Lobster Man, discovered off the coast of Nantucket in 1890, caught in the nets of horrified Nantucket fishermen, sold to Professor McFarkin's Auditorium, toured the Dust Bowl Carnival Circuit until his demise in 1942, mummified remains sold in auction. I, I just, it works cool. I know that pirates aren't real tiki culture. One is the South Pacific, the other is Caribbean Sea, but they blended it nicely. It was fun. It was a great novelty. It was good. I got swizzle sticks. I got a tiki mug. I got both. Yeah. I'll be honest to you. We're happy we took you along, but I had an ulterior motive. <laughs> I've been trying to get tiki mugs from all around the world from different tiki bars. And yeah, you can order them online, but it's always more fun when you go to the tiki bars in person. And we went and they gave me swizzle sticks. They did. I loved it. Golden tiki, good food. Fun atmosphere. Good drinks. Just when we went over it as a bar. And there is some inappropriate humor thrown out there and, and decor, which we we decided not to show you. It's keeping this uh, a PG channel. We, we tried to get the, the mug by the register when you first walk in, but she said some mm -mm 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 broke her register. And then she opened it up and she revealed a photo of the mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yeah, like I said. It was funny. It's funny. A little adult humor. But I love it. It comes with it, I feel. Awesome tiki bar. Glad we came. We could call it now, Joy. I think so. The Golden Tiki. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good, peace. And live life. 
a block away from the Golden Tiki, Bitcoin Central, has a weird dinosaur on the roof. This is nothing new but the Golden Tiki, just that we were passing it, and I had to share it with you.